Lisa Cottrell Bentley is speaking for, uh, from speech number two, Easy and Effective Evaluations. We all struggle with evaluations. Today we'll see the importance of an effective speech evaluation. Lisa has been a Toastmaster for a year and a half, including being VP of Education at her former club. She has struggled with evaluations, so she's forced herself to learn a few ways of making them easier in order to improve her skills. As a result, she started to view what used to be her least favorite part of Toastmasters as her favorite. With these tips, she hopes that other intimidated Toastmasters will not be so scared of giving effective evaluations anymore. Please join me in welcoming Lisa. Fellow Toastmasters, Speechcrafters, and guests, who here remembers their first speech at Toastmasters? <laughs> I hope a few of you do since it was last week. <laughs> I remember mine, and I also remember the fear that I had surrounding it. As I prepared for that speech, got up to the podium, flashbacks to my school, Hood, Trump, traumatic days. All those speeches I gave, the audience jeered at me, they rolled their eyes, they name called. They basically humiliated me. It was horrible. And I was told at Toastmasters that I was going to get a public evaluation of my skills. Immediately I thought, oh no, I'm going to be humiliated again. However, I was elated to discover that Toastmasters is nothing like school. My evaluation it gave me a list of things that I could improve on. It buoyed me up and it gave me encouragement to realize that I could be an even better speaker with speech number two. And each evaluation that I've received since has done likewise. That's right. We're not here to be made fun of, but we're also not here to be told how fabulous we are, although we are. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to become better speakers, better communicators, and better leaders. That is the basic tenet of Toastmasters, and that's why we're here. To me, to become a better speaker, I listened to my evaluations, and I took everything that I heard to heart. And I also learned how to give an easy and effective evaluation of other people. And I found that to be really, really difficult. Let me quote from, according to Toastmasters, the tone and content of an evaluation have great impact on the speaker and even the club. A harsh evaluation may cause a member to leave the club an overly kind evaluation may not help the member to improve, making the member frustrated and unhappy. Good evaluators strive to find a balance between these two extremes, giving evaluations that are helpful and encouraging. While giving a speech for the first time made me feel a little nauseous, in fact it still does, and I may never get over that, giving an evaluation for the first time, it outright made me feel like I was going to vomit, or pass out, or both, and I very nearly did. I struggled through that. I wondered, what advice could I possibly give Toastmasters? What if the speech was horrible and I couldn't think of anything nice to say, like you're supposed to in the sandwich method? Or worse, what if they were so fabulous that I couldn't come up with a single thing that they could improve upon? I was really worried about that. Then I realized that giving an evaluation, it's not at all like a book report. I don't have to worry about the content of their speech at all. And in fact, in Toastmasters, you're not supposed to when you're giving an evaluation. You're supposed to look at what the person says how they say it. The 
way that they give a speech, and you're supposed to evaluate that and only that. Furthermore, it was, while it is personal between you and your evaluator, a public evaluation is so that not just that person can learn from their speech, but that the entire room can learn. We've all just heard one speech, and now we can all learn from the good parts and the bad per parts of that speech. Fabulous learning experience. And I really realized the more speeches I watched that even world-class speakers, there's something they can improve on in every single speech. And that gave me even more confidence to give an evaluation from my point of view. I struggled with evaluations. And that's why I researched them a lot. And I found three things that really, really helped me personally. And I have handouts for you. And I hope they will help you give easy and effective evaluations. The first is a formula, an actual formula on how to give an effective evaluation. This is not just the sandwich method, but much more to it. I've written my notes in the side so that you understand what it means. The second is tips straight from Toastmasters. And as you know from your manuals, Toastmasters gives great advice, and so it's sure to be good. And the third bit <coughs> that was very new to me is basically an outline that I could use as an evaluator to take notes of the speeches that I heard to help me organize my thought process so that I could keep track of what they did good, what they did bad, the important points, their hand gestures, everything, and keep track of all of that at the bottom so that I could do what this formula suggests. You can go ahead and pass these out. And even if you aren't the evaluator, you can still give very important feedback to the speaker. That's why we have little pieces of paper or forms and it's the crux of what you write to the speaker that makes the difference in how that speaker will present in their next speech. And that's essentially why we're here, to be better speakers and better leaders. And that is why I look forward to my evaluation and I respectfully tell my evaluator that I promise not to cry during my evaluation <laughs> if you promise to give me your most heartfelt advice that will help me and the rest of this room become better speakers. Thank you. Thank you. We have two minutes, please.